G'day fishy friends. Welcome back to Cookies Fish Room. For those who don't know me, my name is Norm. And today I will be chatting to you about fish's spines. And more importantly, what makes them go bent and crooked. Um, just want to start out with a shout out and a big thank you to Haley and Ray for this amazing shirt. Um, and all the other cool stuff that you sent. Um, I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. And look out for something in the mail for you guys. Now, back to spines and crooked fish. <laughs> so, many a times I get messages and see threads posted on Facebook and social media about fish with crooked spines. In particular, guppies seem to be um, most susceptible to it than any other tropical fish. So, what makes them that way? And it's bad for the fish. So most of the time, the replies that I see are very inaccurate, especially the ones that say it's because it's of its inbreeding. Now, inbreeding does occur, but it's not the most common reason, and it's not the first reason you should jump to, the first conclusion you should jump to, and think that it must be inbreeding, and I've got to cull this fish. Nine times out of 10, studies that I've done in the lab have shown that these crooked spines are due to the mother, while she is pregnant with these fry, has been um, basically not absorbing or has not enough minerals and vitamins in her body to supply every single one of those fry in her body. So you will have, just for argument's sake, 10 fry in her. She will have only enough nutrition and enough vitamins in her body to supply nine of those fry with enough and proper vitamins and minerals to have those straight spines. Number 10 misses out. So he will or he or she will come out with a crooked spine. That's the most common common factor for this to happen. And that's when you see a fry with a crooked spine at birth. Sometimes you see fish with crooked spines that develop later in life and I'll get to that shortly. We'll just talk about the ones that are born with crooked spines for now. So that is the most common reason, and there's one way to avoid that. And if you've looked at any of my, if you've watched any of my previous videos, you will know that I always say to make sure that your fish, your guppies, and in particular the pregnant fish are getting the proper uh, nutrition that it requires. And sometimes that will mean adding and dosing some minerals and vitamins into the water. Now I use a product called Vita. Uh, I do use Vitachem, it is fantastic, but there is another one called Biotope. Now, Biotope specially, is specially formalized to help the pregnant guppies to pass on those minerals and um, vitamins to its fry. It will make sure the mother gets enough nutrition and enough good stuff to make sure she doesn't die straight after birth, which is really common with guppies. So, and at the same time, it acts like as a dechlorinator. So it's an all-in-one product that I can't speak more highly above about. So please try get your hands on some Biotope. That's the actual brand. Um, now, so that's guppies that are born with, or fry that are born with crooked spines. Another reason you see them born that's more common than genetics and inbreeding is actual basically the fry is getting damaged during birth so lots of the time the fry will get stuck in the birth canal and can't come out for whatever reason the mother finds it hard to push it out or she's just having a general stressful time the fry will end up with a crooked spine i've seen that so many times if you sit down and watch the mother swim around with um the fry sticking out the back of her it's not great to watch. Um, she's mostly stressed when you see this happen. So what I can only suggest is that you can create a less stressful environment for her. Um, if you watch um, Guppies, When My Guppies About to Give Birth video, I talk about it in there, how to create that scenario, that environment to make her feel comfortable. I recommend that you go back and watch that video. It is one of the most important things while a guppy is giving birth to have an environment that is stress-free. Now, there is inbreeding and there is genetics. So 
it's unlikely to be genetics if the other nine fry don't have the problem, the mother doesn't have the problem, the father doesn't have the problem, and just one of them do. So you gotta think logically that it won't be genetics if that's the case. The other problem is with um, inbreeding does happen, and usually with inbreeding, you'll see more than one fry have that crooked spine. So that's another thing to keep in mind. Now, let's chat about guppies or fish that have developed this crooked spine later on in life. So we'll go through none in particular order here or more, most common reasons or anything like that. This is just generally speaking about what can cause it. So you have diseases like columnaris, TB, and scoliosis. Those three are the most common diseases that can cause crooked spines to fish. Now, you will know if it's one of those diseases with columnaris, you'll have the white patches, um, swollen gills, and all the other signs to look for. With TB, you will have um, lesions on it. Um, and scoliosis is basically, it doesn't have more than the actual fish's shape, and that's it. So um, it's a bit hard to diagnose that one, and it's more of a... Um, a trial and error sort of thing to, to treat it. Once it's got scoliosis, there's no turning back. You can't treat that one. And as with most fish, once it's developed a crooked spine due to whatever reason, you can't really undo that. And another reason being is what it eats doesn't have enough, again, vitamins and minerals in its diet or in the water. You need to make sure you supplement those minerals and um, vitamins. Again, Vitachem Biotope will make sure of it, but a good healthy diet, good quality flakes, and fresh vegetables and fruit at least three times a week. Now, I see a lot of people say, well, I feed bloodworms a few times a week, so, or once a day, it gets great food. No, bloodworms is not great food. It's not a good quality food for the fish. It contains literally zero to nothing when it comes to nutritional value. It's just fat. So you wanna stay away from things like that. Some other type of fish like um, beaters or gouramis can make use of, um, of blood worms in a diet as a treat, but definitely do not feed it as part of a staple diet for guppies and other tropical fish. Um, so that's one thing. And if you wanna know what good vegetables or um, fruit you can feed these fish, jump onto Cookie's Fish Room on Facebook, look in our, in our announcement section, you will see a pin thread with a list of fruit and vegetables that we have tried and is proven to help these fish. Um, lastly, uh, another reason that we find that these fish develop crooked spines is as fry, they don't get enough vitamin D or enough light. Now, light, is very important as fry that they that get as much as possible basically to help those spines stay strong and develop strong. Um, minimum a day, I would rec I would recommend eight to twelve hours a day of light. Um, if you've got lots of uh, floating plants or cover on top of your tank, try to push towards the twelve hours of light because it will be thinned out by the plants. Um, so. Make sure if you've got fry in a fry tank or in your main community tank, it's getting enough light. Those basically are the reasons why your fish could have a crooked spine. Now, a lot of it's not preventable. A lot of it is just, if it happens, it happens. But you can prevent as much of it as possible with a good diet and supplementing these minerals and vitamins just by dosing the right additive. Again, I recommend Biotype or Vitachem. Both are great products and see if you can jump online, eBay, Amazon, I'm sure you'll find either one or not. So once again, thank you for joining me at Cookies Fish Room for another episode. Um, big shout out to all the people who have subscribed to our channel. If you haven't yet, please hit the subscribe, hit the notifications bell. And again, jump on Facebook if you're not part of our group, just search for Cookies Fish Room and you will find us, hit join. We're a private group now, so all the stuff that we share does not appear on your um, newsfeed and, and bother other people. And again, I would love to thank Hayley and um, Ray for this awesome t-shirt. You've made my day, you've made my week.
Thanks again, guys. Take care. Tune in next week for another video. Can't wait to see you all. Bye now.